Nice. It went from like a minor to a major thing. I know, it's a bit like... Dun, 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 now. Good afternoon, my name is Mark. Hello everybody, my name is Joss. And it's not the afternoon, is it? It's not, it's the morning. <laughs> <laughs> but more importantly, we are looking at the new PRS SE Custom 24 Sandblasted. Sandblasted! Sandblast um, me! This is a 22. 22. But there is a 24. 24. And then there's a 24 with a Floyd. Floyd Rose. Um, and that's kind of the range that there is. In a, in a whole bunch of columns. Columns? whole bunch of colours. Yeah. Um, but the big thing is this fin these finishes. Yeah, the sandblasted finish. Yeah. This is So this isn't the first time that I've seen a sandblasted finish on a guitar. No, because the, the, the custom shop did them. Yeah, but uh, Fender did a sandblasted finish guitar as well. Okay. They did a Strat, a Jazzmaster, and a Tele in okay. a sandblasted finish. So this so is the first time I've seen it. What they're doing it. is they're, they're, what, they're sanding it right down and then filling in the grainy gaps with paint. Yeah, well, I mean, don't they blast it with sand? Well, that would make sense. <laughs> don't that they would, just like go, that would make sense. like, like. <laughs> but what's happening is, is, is all the colour. grains, yeah, all the, all the grains are being filled with colour. Yeah. Um, so I'll put up all the, the, the whole range. There's like red ones and green ones, like an emerald one. Oh, okay. Um, I think the blue white one. one is probably the most understated version. Because colours, we've got a coloured one here, which we will show you when we get to the Floyd Rose. It's very loud. This, that's a pumpkin spice latte. Right there. Well, the thing is about the pictures online, they don't, they don't burst as much as, as the guitars do in real life. When you see it in person, you're like, holy um, cow. So I might actually take, get some shots of the other colours and we'll, we'll, we'll interject them in so you can see just how vibrant these colours are. Yeah. Um, so these are obviously SEs, which is kind of the affordable range. Yeah, so the, uh, the Korean built models that come out of World Instruments, World Music. South Korea. Sorry, world Music Instruments. Kind um, of. But they are based, these are based on the, the American kind of counterparts. Yeah, so they're, they're, they're based on the full fledged American guitars, custom 24s, custom 22s. So um, if it does, if, if you're like, what, what do you mean 22, 24? I mean, so custom 22 means that it has 22 up. frets and a custom 24 means obviously that it has 24 frets on there. Um, so as Mark already said, you've got a mahogany body, swamp ash top. Uh, you've got, uh, what were the pickups? S15s? 8515. 8515s, uh, so S, the yeah. S models, uh, the non-Americans. You get a three-way select switch, you get a volume and tone, and on the tone pickup you get a coil tap, so you can get the old single coil regalia going on. You've got a maple neck, which is finished, but it's a satin finish. So um, I like satin. I think satin on natural finish is the best option. Yeah. Gloss finishes for me just don't do it. Uh, you got a rosewood fretboard. Um, this is nice. Yeah, uh, and it's kind of a really, really beautiful, sleek design. Um, it's definitely kind of like monochromatic, and I think that's only for the reason that you get um, the vibe of the black and white on this one. Uh, other colours, uh, not so much, but it pops a little bit more in terms of black with a colour on it. Coming in around seven nine nine. Yeah, so still under a thousand pounds, and you get a deluxe gig bag with it as well. Do you really? You do get a PRS gig bag. You all about it, the gig yeah. bags these days, aren't you? Me? Yeah. Well, I'm just so stating. You do what the gig bag have. research. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, well, I mean, nowadays it's like it's like one of the most important aspects. Who didn't I think. have one the other day, and it really bothered me. ESP didn't. It was um, it was when we did the uh, Jared James Nichols, the oh the Matt Heafy didn't come Heafy. with a case where the others did. Yeah. Which is weird, yeah. um, but and it's the same as the Nick Johnstons. Yeah. Like I love that guitar to bits, yeah. but it's just annoying that it doesn't come with like a gig bag, like a Shek Ticket branded big gig bag, big 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 bag, big big bag. Um, well, I guess what we should do is we should play one. Yeah. And then we'll play the four. I don't think there's any point playing the 24 and the 22. No. Because they're yeah, going to yeah. be exactly the same. Just but we'll play the Floyd because uh, the big thing about the Floyd. Uh, well, we'll get to that. We'll, we'll cover that in a second. Yeah. Um, so this is the 22, make it sing. Yeah, what? so... You're about to tell me what uh, I was about to ask. What are you playing through? Um, I'm going into this Kemper, but I've set it to a Dumble Overdrive Special, so... What's the pedal? Uh, that's a BB, that's an Exotic FX BB Plus. Uh, it's a really, really nice drive pedal. See? Uh, so, yeah, here we go. I'll show you the full humbucker on the neck pickup and then I'll, I'll coil tap it as well. Mm. 
knob up here. So just explain, so pulling this up yep. does what? So push it in. So here's... Are you, are you splitting the humbucker? Yeah, so it depends whether... It depends on whether it says coil tap or coil split. Um, bridge is... So you get the same sort of thing. It's, a... hmm? it's holding its tuning well. Yeah, really well. It is. Um, here's a little bit of drive from the BB Plus. to play a guitar with nines on it man um, tones. yeah 11s i play so um and then just finally like a little bit of rock and roll so this is both of the channels on the bb <laughs> They do sound, you know, they, they, they sound, sound great, really, actually. really good. Yeah, they sound um, really, really good. Wow. Yeah, so shall I grab the shall I grab the Floyd, just so we can see that? Is that I 22 or 24? 24. Floyd. 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 So as we mentioned, yeah. you have the 22, the 24, and then the 24 Floyd. is, I And mean, there's left-handed versions as well, so that's your four. Um, I mean, they're call, guess what they're calling this, color-wise? Uh, pumpkin spice. No, they're calling it yellow. Which yellow? Really doesn't look, it doesn't look, this looks yellow. Would you say this is mustard? That's mustard, but this looks orange. Yeah, it me? does look orange, yeah. But they're calling it yellow. Okay. Um, Fine. It's a uh, thousand series trim. Nice. System um, designed uh, to let you dive bomb the crap out of it. That's what is, that's what is. And stay in tune. Uh, I'm going to change guitar pick. Hey. Yeah. Why? Because it's, it. it's happening. It's happening. It's happening. Um, are you on a different setting? Scale length. Yeah, I'm on a different setting. I've changed it to the Jeff Loomis. Okay. For the rock. Rock it out. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
will never understand how your hands can move that fast. My little sausage chubby fingers. How is it? Uh, this is my home territory, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like metal. Yeah. This is my thing. And how does basically. it play for that? Really good. <laughs> Really good. So the neck, what is the, uh, it's, a, it's a wide to thin neck, right? Wide thin, yeah. Um, so the way PRS do it, if it's a wide thin, it's a wide thin. Yeah. Um, and then they've got their standard profile and then they've got another one, I believe. I'm just, thinking, I'm just trying to think in terms of who, who this guitar suits the best. I mean, Floyd Rose, I mean, taking 24 away, frets. You know, the non-Floyd Rose yeah. version. Um, is, I mean, it just seems to be a pretty all-rounder. I would say so, especially that it's got the uh, the old coil tapage. It's got the uh, the, the split thing, so yeah, like a good single coil. Can't do it on uh, high gain patches, but it's um yeah. <laughs> It's definitely got um, it's got all of the it's got all of the the gravitas of a heavy sounding guitar. I mean that's they sound great. They sound they really sound good. really really good. Um, I think that the the finishes are marmite. A hundred percent. Hundred percent, especially the colours. I don't mind the white one. Yeah. I don't Maybe. mind it, but I don't like this one. Just the colour. I love the guitar. I just don't like this colour. Going I off, think I'd like I mean, there's green. a. I think there's a red, a green, and a blue as well. I think I'd like the which green. Which are pan. Blue. But going off, I thought they were quite like um, sat desaturated. Like reserved. They're really saturated. Yeah, they're not. They're not. They're really quiet in your face. No, yeah, so yeah, yeah. I'm, 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 we'll get them out and have a look, and I'll pan them. Um, <laughs> Uh, these are limited. They so, are. So um, if you really like them, then go and get one. Yeah, that's about that's how it goes. <laughs> if you like let's, one, uh, then let's, go I'm going to play. Let's have a jam. It's been a while. Yeah, let's see if we can do it. All right, I'll be Mark. My name's Joss. And do the pick thing. I can't. This is an expensive guitar. Okay, we'll just go. Right. Okay. 